Hi everybody, my name is Laura and today we are going to be making our very own dragon eggs just like this one right here. This can be your Hagrid's dragon egg, this can be your uh, Daenerys Targaryen dragon egg, whatever you want it to be. So this is going to be the dragon egg that we're going to make today. But I wanted to let you guys know that we're going to be doing a cool thing for, during the month of March for your guys' spring break called a Spring Break Book Box. So inside the box will be a couple of books that you um, will choose the subject on, so a craft, um, and then some other fun things like bookmarks, stickers, um, uh, candy who knows so be sure to sign up for that and I will put that up here so that is the link so that you can um, fill out a little survey about things that you like so that you can so that we will know what to pick out for you so uh, please do that and um, we would love to have you participate we if it goes well then we hope to be able to do it again in the future so um, stick with me uh, so go do that and then come back and then you can finish watching this video so that you can make your own dragon egg Ooh, very cool yay Okay, so let's get started with our dragon egg. So I'm gonna open this bag up and we can see what's inside. I mean, you can kind of already see, but we're gonna pull everything out. So um, you'll have your instructions. Um, there's some instructions with pictures on um, both sides. So that kind of shows you, gives you an idea of how to do it. And um, then you will have your styrofoam egg. So the styrofoam egg is going to be the base for your egg. Then you'll also have um, thumbtacks. So you should have a couple hundred, at least 200. I think there's like 250. So um, you'll have plenty to do your entire egg. It just sort of depends on how you want to do it. So, um, but we do want to make sure that we kind of cover up all the styrofoam so we can't see it. Um, you don't really need any extra supplies for this, but there are a couple of options. Um, you could uh, pull out some nail polish and you could paint um, nail polish on some of the tops of your um, thumbtacks so that you can uh, have some color variation. You could paint all of them. You could paint a couple of them. Um, if you wanted to do that, that's completely up to you. Um, I'm not going to do that today because I didn't bring any nail, nail polish with me. So I have my egg here um, and we are going to start at the bottom. So the bottom would be the wider part of your egg. So I am going to put one directly in the bottom. So that's going to be kind of my start. So we want to overlap our eggs or our thumbtacks because we don't want to see any of the um, uh, white styrofoam underneath. So um, you can um, just start layering them on here and trying to cover up the white as much as you can. You probably want to get the actual thumb part or the thumb tack part, the pin, the tack part, as close to the ones next to it as possible. Um, like you can see this one probably is a little further too far over. So I'm going to stick that in over here so that I can make sure that we are covering all of our space. Um, from here you can uh, just start doing this also, um, but it's kind of up to you on how you want to do it. I mean, you could do it pretty randomly so that, you know, there's not really a pattern at all to your um, thumbtacks. You could make them so that you're going circular. Um, that's kind of what I did with this one. So this one is a finished dragon egg. Um, and so that's kind of what I did with these. Um, I actually started at the top on this one. So um, this was my first thumbtack and then I just started going around and around and around in like a circle. So you can see that it is pretty um, even that way. I tried to keep the lines pretty even, but you don't have to do that. Um, and then at the very end, this is the last thumbtack that I put, or yeah, thumbtack I put in there. So um, it's kind of up to you. I think I'm just going to start this one off going kind of all over the place without really making a pattern at all, just because it might be more interesting. Just 
Just be really careful while you're doing this because obviously the thumbtacks are sharp. They're not super pointy. Um, it's not like a pin or needle or anything like that, but they are still pretty, um, pretty sharp. So you want to make sure it probably is not a bad idea just to pour some on the table so that you're not digging around in the box. Um, so just be careful with the thumbtacks. They are, um, sharp. If you're not supposed to use anything sharp, you probably want to do this with some supervision. Um, but, and make sure that, you know, mom or dad knows that this is happening um, and that you are making it so that in case something happens, um, they know. And, um, you know, nothing should happen. <laughs> you'd have to, I think you'd have to work pretty hard in order to um, actually hurt yourself with these thumbtacks, but be very, but be careful with them. I don't want anybody to get hurt doing a, a craft, you know, one of my crafts, so. Um, you may notice that there's going to be like some flat spots or whatever, uh, it just sort of happens. I mean, they're um, made of styrofoam, you guys have all seen styrofoam, it doesn't um, stay together really well all the time, so you may notice that you may also have times when maybe it doesn't stay in. Um, that's part of what overlapping will do is help it to sort of stay um, attached but every once in a while it will still come up. Um, if that happens, you can um, use some tacky glue and just glue some on the end of the tack. And that sort of helps, but it's not perfect. Um, they really are just sort of held on there with uh, the other tags. Um, you can see this one, mine is kind of, um, was kind of sticking up at the at the very bottom just because it had to go through a lot of tacks in order to get to the um, egg. So I think I did glue that one in. I may have used hot glue when I glued that one in. So this is going to be a relatively short video because I think you get the gist. Um, and uh, you can just keep going. You fill the entire thing with the thumbtacks. Um, use as many as you like or as few as you like. The closer you space them together, the more tacks you're going to go through. Um, so just keep that in mind. But I think you should have more than enough because mine are pretty close together. And I don't think, I think I gave you more than I used. Um, so... Whoops, see like that one kind of popped back out. Um, I wouldn't use this, I'm not gonna use the same hole again, uh, just because it's already not very reliable. Um, and then when I put the next one in, that will sort of keep it in place. So yeah, just keep going, um, adding them all in until you get to the top. Um, so you can see um, mine when I got to the bottom, you can see there's sort of a little flat spot there. It gets pretty heavy on the bottom, so a couple of mine just popped out because I set it down. Um, so this is the finished product. Um, so once you get close to the end, basically you'll just keep going until you cover up um, your last one. And then you, um, if that one you have kind of a hard time getting it um, in or it's just, um, just too long or not long enough, then like I said, you can use some glue on that. Um, and then, so this is why I would recommend um, painting them if you wanna paint them beforehand, just because um, it'll be really hard if unless you wanna do them all, but it'll start to look a little goopy. So if you wanna do that, I would paint them beforehand. Um, so otherwise you will have your silver egg. It'll actually be pretty heavy. Um, and yeah, so this can be your dragon egg. This can be your Harry Potter dragon egg. This can be your Game of Thrones dragon egg. Uh, whatever kind of dragon you want it to be, uh, you can imagine it is inside your dragon egg. So um, we do have some projects coming up soon. Um, for this month, we are doing a spring break book box. So to do that, all you have to do is go to um, our website for the survey and um, 
you can fill out a survey just letting us know some information about you and um, what you like, what you're interested in reading, um, and we will put together a box for you with a couple of books, um, so a craft, some other fun goodies that you might enjoy that you'll get to keep, um, and uh, it'll be a good way to sort of break up your boredom if you get really bored over spring break. So be sure to um, sign up for that. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. If you have any questions, you can call the library. Um, the phone number is 623-333-BOOK. So it's 2665, I think. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. But um, if you fill out that survey, then you will be ready to go. And um, I will let you know when your box is finished. We'll also be having an in-person program in at both of the libraries, at the same Garcia Library on the third Tuesday of the month, and at the Civic Center Library at the on the fourth Tuesday of the month. So um, if you would like to register for those, um, give us a call or send us an email at email library at avondaleaz.gov. So it's email, E-M-A-I-L, library, L-I-B-R-A-R-Y, at avondaleaz.gov. So yeah, be sure to um, sign up for all the fun stuff we've got coming up. We also have summer reading coming, and we have got some big plans for that, and it should be a lot of fun. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed making your dragon egg. If you want to send us a picture, feel free to send us a picture at that same email, Avondale Library, um, or email library at avondaleaz.gov website, or web um, uh, email address. So we would love to see your creations and what you made. So thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time.